I don't want to lie. I have had so many hours the past few months spent in my bed hysterically crying to the point of having anxiety attacks and panic attacks. I want to be really, really clear and careful that I'm not misunderstood. Hey, handsome, are you ready to go to the doctor? How are you four years old? How are we going to do your four-year-old checkup? We definitely need a moment for the fit. Beckham, you look so cute in red. Oh, you just want to show off and get up into a sitting position all by yourself? Yeah, he loves his YouTube family. Hi, baby. It's a little cooler today in Utah, unbelievable, because it's June, but I'm gonna put this little leather jacket on him. So cute. Blakely, are we gonna go to the doctor? Can you say doctor? doctor. Good job, Blakely's been saying doctor, doctor all morning since I told her. Yeah, we're gonna go for Beckham's checkup, huh? And we're gonna get her little checkup. tiny cough checked out too. Checkup. Yeah. Checkup. Say checkup. Checkup. Good job. Hey, sissy, thumbs up. Good job. You're in the car, ready to rock. Beckham has a checkup today at the doctor. And a couple of you actually even commented and noticed Blakely's having a little <coughs> bit of a cough. Ooh, right there, right on cue. And I'm gonna have him just check her throat and ears just to be extra safe. Then I think we're going to get a shake or a little swig, special drink, something while we're out and go visit daddy at his office. And I think we'll surprise him. No, 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 Sissy is so excited to see the doctor. Are you excited to see the doctor? Uh, you give us. Just got Beckham's weight and height and he did cry because you guys know how he gets kind of PTSD when we come to the doctor. I'm hoping after enough times of getting the Botox and pain all under anesthesia, he won't have anxiety anymore. So fingers crossed this appointment goes well and I promised him no shots. You did so good, Bubba. You're so brave. I'm so proud of you. And then, oh, baby, baby. Hey, you did so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna our shots today. Okay, we just got back in the car. We finished up. Beckham did have to get two shots because we do vaccinate him. So he got them in the right arm. So at least it wasn't in his legs and he didn't have to take his pants off because that's when his anxiety like really sets in. Blakely was an angel because she's so obsessed with like mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So when the doctor came in, she was like, doctor, doctor, check up my turn the whole time he was doing Beckham. So she was freaking stoked. Blakely, you did so good. And Hunter texted me me and was just so sweet and he might want to actually meet up for lunch or just like a quick little shake so we'll see if we go meet up with daddy but if not i still think i'd like to go at least surprise him at the office oh i don't know if it'll be a surprise though because we'll need to call and see how busy he is but i also wanted to update you guys on beckham's weight length all of that good stuff because it is so weird to me because at the beginning of beckham's life we were used to so many doctor's appointments back to back but now oh are you okay oh also they checked like she's 100% good ears throw everything so that little cough is just like a gnarly little dry throat or something so we're keeping her very hydrated and we have a humidifier in her room but like I was saying it's so wild to me because Beckham had so many doctor's appointments when he was really little and he still has a lot compared to Blakely don't get me wrong but I don't see the pediatrician as often as I used to it's only like once a year now that he's four so they did his growth chart and like updated me on everything and I have amazing news Beckham is now in the 4.89 percentile for weight and age which is amazing because usually he's literally under two percent so i was so excited and he is doing really well this is like his little growth chart right here if you guys can see that and then he is growing taller at a healthy rate and so that is all very exciting he is in the 2.4 percentile for his height Oh, so maybe he's short. Is he short or tall? I'm not uh, sure. But either way, he is healthy as a horse and everything looked amazing for both kids. Both kids are healthy, which is such a blessing. So we are gonna go celebrate. I wish more than anything, like in these moments, that I could like get Beckham an ice cream for doing such a good job. I don't know why I've been so emotional lately, but I just wish that I could like reward him in the typical way that you would reward a child. But I'm just gonna do my best to make him happy and cozy all day since he did just get vaccinated. And I think we're gonna go meet up with daddy. So we will see and whatever we do, I will daddy. vlog it. <laughs> yeah, daddy. 
guys already know we had to get our birthday cake shakes. Is that yummy, sissy? You got your shake? Shake it. Good girl. <laughs> Mr. Beckham just got done eating and he ate phenomenal for me today. I mean, he always does, but he ate really well and I'm sure he is going to sleep like a baby. Both of the kids are quite tired and it's definitely time for naps, but after shots, Beckham always sleeps and is out like a light, so I'm sure he'll get a lot of rest today. I just got home and of course there was an Amazon package on the front porch and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to get just some like graphic oversized t-shirts so that I can wear them around the house and wear them out and about and I never wear graphic tees so I didn't want to spend like a lot of money but I just wanted to get a couple comfy ones and this is the first one I got. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be the perfect size. I wanted it to like cover my bum but not too much but I just like literally searched graphic tees on Amazon. This is so cute. So I'm really excited about that. You guys know I'm a comfy clothes queen. The kids are down for their naps, so you know what that means. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why there was no birthday vlog. And I am just ready to be 100% honest with you. I feel like one of the ways that I really built a strong community and built my channel was just by being really raw and really vulnerable and being honest with you about not only the highlights of my life, but also the grieving points of my life and the things that are really difficult. And as you guys know, Beckham's birthday is this month. It was on June 13th and I was planning on doing a full birthday vlog, something really unique happened this year that hasn't happened in the years prior around his birthday. I have really just been struggling with a lot of grief. I have been very sad. I have been crying every day. I have really been struggling overall as a mother and with my mental health. I've talked to you guys a lot about how the grieving process as a special needs mom is lifelong because you grieve different milestones as your child gets older. And for some reason, then this year just destroyed me, if I'm going to be totally honest. Realizing that Beckham is now four years old and just having a better picture of what life looks like was really heartbreaking for me. And I don't want that to ever be misconstrued to me not being grateful for everything that he's accomplished. I am so open and I talk so much about the amazing parts of our life, but I don't want to lie and I don't want to come across almost in a sense of toxic positivity where I act like real life and grief and sadness isn't happening behind the scenes because it is. I have had so many many hours the past few months spent in my bed hysterically crying to the point of having anxiety attacks and panic attacks and just being devastated that I cannot take my son out of pain that he's in. Just absolute devastation that he will never get to see the world the way that I see it. If I could trade him places, I would in a heartbeat and I can't. I literally cannot do that. There is so much that is out of my control and it is so uncomfortable comfortable to be so out of control in terms of your children. And that's just been a huge adjustment for me as a mom. And I think when your children are little, specifically when you're dealing with disability or special needs, you have so much hope when they're little because the future is just as bright as ever and you don't have a good idea of what things are going to look like. And every year as they get older, it gets more and more real about where they're at. I want to be really, really clear and careful that I'm not misunderstood. I am so proud of Beckham and I am so grateful that he is here and I am grateful for every tiny thing that he can do. He is amazing. And I will talk about that in every other video. Today, I want to talk about how unfair it is that he doesn't have the same abilities that I do. We were in the same accident. It makes me so angry. I'm angry. I'm angry with God. I've had moments of questioning if there is a God, because how could this happen to 
who I love the most in the world. How could it happen to him and not me? Why can't I trade him places? Why couldn't I have had any other alternative? And that's something that I've just had to cope with and learn how to accept. And this pain comes from a place of wanting the absolute best for my son. I want him to feel no pain on a daily basis. I want him to have the best quality of life possible. And it is heartbreaking over and over again to see him be frustrated that he can't do the same things as his sister when he really wants to because he's so cognitive, he's so smart. And like when I talk about him, I just light up because he is so happy and I'm so sad. And he's the one in pain. And I just wish I could transfer some of that strength to myself. But uh, the reason there wasn't a birthday vlog is because I'm just struggling. And I was really sad this year. And of course we spent the day as a family really happy and really joyful and celebrated his life because he deserves that every year. And I am celebrating his life but I'm just going through a really big wave of grief this year and I wanted to be open about that because regardless of whatever you are grieving, I know that waves of grief come and go and they can be really unexpected and I never thought that a birthday of his would be so traumatizing for me. As I've worked on processing this and I'm in therapy, I'm getting professional help, which I'll need for the rest of my life, obviously. Of course, it's traumatic. Although Beckham's birthday represents the day he was born, which is all he will ever know that I think of it as. It also represents the day that I almost lost him. I wouldn't be the mother I want to be if that wasn't so traumatic. Like, I almost lost him. Our lives changed that day and it was really, really painful and really hard. And I know it's been four years, but lately it's felt so close to home. I just wanted to share that with you because I know so many of you asked about a birthday vlog for him. And I literally am so crazy. I am already planning his fifth birthday because I'm a psychopath and it's gonna be freaking epic. And it's gonna make up for what you guys didn't see this year. But of course we still celebrated him, but I just wanted to keep it more intimate because I didn't want a camera involved. I just, I just wanted it to be Hunter, me, Blakely, and Beckham. However, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was fun to give you an update on Beckham's progress in terms of his height and his weight. So proud of him, he's getting so big. But I love you guys so much and I want to remind you to be brave like Beckham. I can't believe I have a four-year-old, it is so mind-blowing. It just really has been four years of miracles. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in our next video. Bye.